Hey everybody, we are teaching Tilt Brush. This time we're looking at an open source fork called Multi Brush. And yes, the multi in Multi Brush does in me indeed mean it is multiplayer Tilt Brush. Multiple painters in the same painting at the same time. Now, this is an open source fork, so it is still in progress, and it's also may or may not be fully compatible with all of the other brushes and things that are going on out there right now. For example, Multi Brush is not compatible with my mixed reality viewing system. So we'll be switching to the headset view just to look at some of the differences you'll see when you're using Multi Brush as an open source fork. This particular episode, we're not gonna get too much into the actual interpersonal reaction, partly because we're filming this in the evening on Maui and there's nobody to play with. We will be doing an actual public group brush that we will be announcing on this channel. Uh, but anyway, let's get cut to the chase. We're gonna go into the headset view and actually look at loading up a room in multi brush. So bear with me and off we go. Okay, so here we are in our normal tilt brush world. Hey, there I am. So here we are in tilt brush, just as tilt brush itself. As I bring my controllers into view, you can see right off the bat, it is a little bit different from our standard tilt brush. We do have most of the main controls. We do have most of the main tools. We do not have the extras. We may have some experimental stuff, but overall it is not gonna be quite the same. The biggest difference will be a lack of certain tools and the addition of multiplayer. You'll notice we still have our sketchbook. And for multiplayer, we will need a sketch in place if we're gonna create a room. So I'm gonna load in a sketch. We're gonna find our nice forest scene here. And as we load in our forest scene, we've got, there we are, our lovely forest scene. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into multiplayer. Your name is going to be pulled from your username, but feel free to change it. You can use full alphanumeric, I mean alphas with a space. Now, if you have people online, they would show up in here. There's nobody online right now. That's the trouble with doing things in Maui is our, our time zone is kind of crazy. So I'm going to create my own room based on. Now, if you wanted to have it only your friends, you could give it a password. So only people who know the password can join you. I'm gonna go for a public room just to see what craziness can happen. Thank goodness for editing. Now it can have up to 12 players at a time. It is because I left it wide open, anybody can join at any point and they can participate in your artwork. So I'm just gonna go here, I'm gonna add a little footnote so when people show up, it's gonna say multiplayer. Multi-painter is what I'm gonna call it. And I'm even gonna turn this into a message. And we'll see if anyone shows up. Now, when people join you in the game, you can see them by an outline of their headset with their name in it. You'll notice we do have all of the tools in beginner mode that we're used to. We also have all of the brushes that we're used to. Ignore the second controller all the pieces that we're used to. The only ones we don't have from beginner mode are our undo and redo. Because with multiplayer, it's hard for the system to keep track of whose detail are you trying to undo. So in all of our beginner tools, only those two are missing. In advanced mode, we are missing a few more tools. Partly again due to the multiplayer incompatibility. We do have access to some experimental, including the double mirror, 
But otherwise, we are a little bit more limited on what we can do. As you can see, some of these other tools have not yet been enabled. Depending on when you watch this video, we may have some more tools in. Now, Multibrush does use the same folders as the main Tilt Brush folder. So if I go to Open Files or, say, or Open Sketches, all of my main Tilt Brush sketches will be there. It's not connecting to internet accounts like Poly, but it is connecting to your local files. This also means if you're looking for your media images, your reference images, they are going to be there. Anything you're used to importing and exporting will be available. Videos, media images, downloadable models are all pieces are, that are there. Now, do bear in mind, Multibrush doesn't have all of the export import features enabled. So you can see how some of these models aren't showing up because Multibrush doesn't understand them. Reference images, however, do show up and behave just fine. So if you do end up saving your work, they will be saved in amongst your local Tilt Brush files. Multiplayer files will be accessible in your regular Tilt Brush. If anybody does join with you, all other users will show up as a white outline of their headset with their name across the face of it. You'll also see their controllers moving and the artwork being created. Do bear in mind that if you are on a different scale, it may be hard to find your friends, let alone read the name on the front of their faceplate. So if you do have a whole lot of players in your room, it can be tough to keep track of which figure represents which online painter. One of the things to be aware of, we can load in custom sketches. We can switch to different environments. But if you look, we do not have the ability to change the backgrounds. So we could not customize the colors, for example. So if I chose a pistachio, I would not be able to change the colors pistachio uses. If it's built in already into your sketch, it should show up fine. But if it's something you're trying to customize, you are locked into the default environments. Sorry from Hawaii, we've got an empty room, but that's the basic overview of how multi-brush is different from the main base tilt brush. All of the basic tools are there, but none of the advanced tools, in exchange for which you can spend the afternoon creating with other people. Now let's jump back into tilt brush. So that's a peek at multi-brush from the inside, what it looks like to load up a room. And as you can tell, using tilt brush is pretty much using tilt brush. Multi-brush has all of the main tilt brush tools for you and your friends to play with. Just be aware of what tools don't exist so you don't try to undo and get frustrated when it's not happening. So it's available for the Quest systems through SideQuest, and we have that linked in at the bottom. It is also available for download for Steam VR users. We'll have that linked in at the bottom. I don't believe it is out yet for the PlayStation version of Tilt Brush, but we'll try to keep you posted. It is cross-platform, so Quest users and Steam VR users can work in the same pieces together and really create some artwork regardless of what system you use. So, and best of all, it even has a built-in voice chat of its own, so you should be able to talk to the people that you're tilting with and all play together happy and nice and see exactly how this stuff works. Get out there, play with it, let me know what you think. This is the type of thing we want to encourage you guys to play with because it's creating and it's socially distant. But at the same time, anybody can just dive in and have fun. Let us know if you have any questions down below. Let us know if you want to join us in Multibrush to create some artwork. Let us know if you've got ideas of what you'd like us to teach about. Let us know if you have artwork you want to show off. In any case, get out there and have fun in Tilt Brush, whichever fork you end up using. Have fun, everybody.